Huh. I've been gone for a while, haven't I? What's going on everyone? Mod Productions back in another review, and I apologize for not uploading, it's just that I've been very lazy, and I've been having too much fun with these figures, and by the time I upload it, I hope it's been New Year's, so... Happy New Year's to you everyone, and for this video I'm gonna be reviewing Saber Alter 2.0. Let's get into this. As you can see, looking right at the box, you do see King Arthur right here. You can see a few faceplates, a hairpiece, and Excalibur. This is Figma 432 Saber Alter 2.0 from Fate Stay Night Heavensfield, which is a good anime. I recommend watching it. And this is made by Max Factory. Looking at the side, you do see King Arthur holding Excalibur. The back, you do see her in a couple poses with their faceplates and hair. The other side, King Arthur again in a nice pose. The top, King Arthur. The bottom, King Arthur. Let's get into the figure. This figure sculpt and painting are absolutely amazing. I love that weird, mysterious, metallic purple. And with those red lines, I feel like this figure looks bad. <laughs> Going over this figure's articulation, the head can look down about that far, can look up, and it does have some side to side, but when you try to turn the head, the joint does get a little bit retarded and it messes itself up. The arm can rotate all the way around, and it does move forward. The arm does move out about that far, and you do have a bicep swivel right here. You do have a bend at the elbow, a wrist swivel, and depending the way you move the joint, it could go up and down right here, or up and down right here, which is nice. And one of the problems with this figure is when you have the ab crunch, it looks nice, but when you have the arcing back, it does expose the ball joint inside of her chest, which I don't really like. The skirt can move back a bit, so you could give her some room for a nice kick. But when you try to move it back, it won't go back that far because of the skirt. You do have a thigh swivel in there, right there. You do have a bend at the knee, which is pretty tight. Then the foot can go up and down, and depending the way you move the joint, you can get a bit of a pivot. And you do have some toe rotation right there. Overall, her articulation is really good. Going over her accessories, we have her default expression. Have a sinister smirk and some eyes looking to her left. And you have her Excalibur! Faceplate. Have her regular hairpiece. Another one with her hair blowing in the wind. And her final one with her mask. Then for her hands, we have her fist her open palm hands, her sword grabby hands, and her scary claw hands. And we also have this extra hand joint that I don't need, but it is appreciated. For her final accessory, you have Excalibur. I have to say, Excalibur is nicely sculpted and painted. It also has a stand. Uh, the stand doesn't work for me, because, like, you see that I put it in her butt, it's nice and tight, you think it'll hold the figure, but no it doesn't. This stand sucks. Overall, I think this figure is really cool, and I can't wait to review my baby. <laughs> oh yeah! But other than that, hope you guys have a happy new year, and I'll catch you all next time.